Charities. Uh, the mission of Catholic Charities is directed by our faith is to lift people out of poverty by promoting self-sufficiency, strengthening families, and supporting safe and just communities. And I'd also like to tell you a little bit about uh, what Catholic Charities actually does. Um, and it really is an honor for me to do that uh, because I have uh, served on the SILSA uh, Community Advisory Board and I know it's important for the SILSA community to know what we do. So Catholic Charities provide services in four major areas and I'll just go through each one of them very quickly. The first one is what is called helping people in, in critical need. Catholic Charities offers a wide range of services that consists of housing and homelessness prevention, rental assistance and eviction prevention, food stamps, outreach, and benefits enrollment, services to people who are diagnosed with AIDS who need housing subsidies as well as substance abuse counseling, and housing assistance to help those caught in the foreclosure crisis. We also help those who need help with transportation and or utilities. So this covers our first category of, of programming called Helping People in Critical Need. The second area is called Supporting Youth and Ending Violence. Through our care program, we provide case management and transitional housing services to former foster care youth that are emancipated and for whom there is very little help and guidance available. We've also developed comprehensive services to assist those who have been impacted by violence and homicide and especially in the city of Oakland. Finally, our school counseling program works with children and youth in parish-based schools who have been identified to have behavioral, behavioral issues that is affecting their emotional and academic performance. So this is our second area. The third area of service is called supporting families and seniors. Catholic Charities has developed a wide range of services to assist seniors so that they are aging in place. Uh, bilingual and bicultural counseling to those who need clinical in intervention and therapy with the help of licensed therapists or clinically supervised interns. Counseling that is geared to the deaf and hard of hearing. In addition, Catholic Charities has developed a program called Family to Family that provides a bridge between parishes and families that need help over long periods of time. Finally, through our VITA program, we help many individuals and families with income tax assistance. So this is our third category, supporting families and seniors. And finally, our fourth uh, line of service is called integrating immigrants and refugees. Catholic Charities has a long and extensive history of working with immigrants and refugees. We believe it is important for Catholic Charities to help newcomers, whether refugees or immigrants, to integrate successfully into society by providing refugee resettlement services, citizenship, and customized immigrant and vocational training that can help them become economically more self-sufficient. So you can see that we have a broad and expansive set, set of services at Catholic Charities of the East Bay. Uh, Catholic Charities has had a wonderful partnership with St. Mary's College that goes back at least over a year. Faculty and students in the graduate education program have conducted a program evaluation and analysis of two of our major programs, our Family Literacy Program and Project Access, which is a program that provides early childhood education training to immigrants, primarily women. Catholic Charities has benefited from the reports and recommendations that were generated by these evaluations, and some of the recommendations are being incorporated into the ongoing operations of these two programs to make them more effective and more successful. Faculty and students have become intimately familiar with the work of Catholic Charities because of their involvement in these two projects. Other faculty has also expressed an interest in assisting Catholic Charities with other projects such as marketing and communications. We are able to foster a stronger relationship between our two Catholic Charities, between our two Catholic institutions because of these types of collaborative partnerships.